Yo, what is up guys? Um, today it's uh, Monday, but I'm currently recording this on Tuesday because it's a little late. But anyways, today we had a pretty good day or nevertheless, it was not a bad day in my, in my opinion. It could have gone definitely better, but it was still a pretty good day. We had this EU trade and we had a uh, US 30 trade. Called this one out in the VIP room. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna give you guys like a recap of how this trade went. So obviously um, going into the week, I'm gonna give you guys like a really, really, really quick recap. So going into the week, um, we took out this weekly low last um, with last week's um, weekly candle. And then going on the daily, I was just, we were really, really, really bearish. Order flow is really bearish, but because we had no retracements, I was anticipating some type of retracement. So just like last week, last week's EU trade, I had the same confluences again. Even though I am trading contra order flow, we are in just such a deep discount and we have to retrace eventually, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, again, I was anticipating we're gonna retrace. We took out weekly lows. We were starting to build more structure, getting more confirmation. And then we had this huge manipulation move downwards with um, with this new scandal. We had huge manipulation below um, taking out Asia lows. And we had a huge SMT right here with DXY. So um, if you look at DXY in this moment in time, um, where is this morning? Yeah, so this was the low, We yeah, this was the high. So DXY is inversely correlated, so that's why it doesn't look the same. But um, yeah, this high right here. So this was the high that did not get taken on um eu or the low because it's inversely correlated and as you can see eu didn't take it out so that's our smt and then i was just waiting for a market structure shift with displacement because we were in a deep discount took out all the levels of sell side that needed to see get taken smt with dxy and i was just waiting for my market structure shift so internal unicorn model and today was not a bad day but i definitely could have done um, one or two things better for example my entry what is this entry this entry is not good at all you know what i mean and this this um resulted in me having a bigger stop loss you know what i mean i could have easily just waited for the unicorn entry unicorn for value gap entry or this order block entry right here would have been a way better entry would have had way more tighter stop and as you can see this trade would have been an easy tree rr you know what i mean so that's definitely where i went wrong today i was a little impatient and got an early entry i entered after the break in market structure and that's where i went wrong today and someone also told me that so that's something i'm looking more into is just being more patient and just trying to have also tighter stops like instead of putting my stop loss here i definitely could have put it like somewhere here maybe but i don't think that's really the problem it's really just my entries and um basically that's what i'm looking to improve right now and as you can see the trade barely hit, didn't hit to our r and it refers back to break even but i did take partials up here so that's one thing i took partials around up right right here or something i took partials took half off and i, I was letting the rest run to like around the two and a half rr and uh, so we can go for these i thought we were going for these highs but obviously we didn't reversed stopped the break even and as you can see we just kept on melting on eu so currently eu is just really looking bearish and it's not looking like we're going to retrace for now so i'm done taking longs on here and i'm um, looking to short to just keep shorting this down just going with order flow we did form a gap here so i'm anticipating tomorrow morning we fill in this gap and we keep um uh we keep going down so tomorrow going going into tomorrow i'm looking for shorts on eu definitely and yeah that's that um besides that um we took a us 30 trade today but I'm gonna give you guys like the analysis and um, so basically in the discord, let me show you guys the discord. This is my analysis for the day. Going into the morning on NQ, I'm overly bearish, just like I had said yesterday in the market outlook, we are in a premium of the range and we just rebalanced to equilibrium and an imbalance. And we have taken out multiple levels of liquidity. So there was no reason for us to keep going higher. We had SMT with these highs. So I was just, this was literally just a retracement so we can keep going lower. So going into the day, I was really, really bearish. 9.30, we immediately melted. While we also had this manipulation, we immediately melted. So you can see that as a market structure shift. But with that market structure shift, we had a major bullish SMT. So I was not willing to take an entry based off of that. So I was waiting for more confirmation. 
and basically i saw okay us 30 does look really nice for shorts because uh, let me mark out my pois for you guys so this is a mitigation block right here this move this um con these consecutive up candles right here is a mitigation block and we had also an imbalance a five minute imbalance here and uh, basically i saw that get taken this was also an internal high that got swept traded into the imbalance um and take out took out the highs um we respected the imbalance with the bodies as you guys can see and we had a change in the state of delivery so that's basically all i needed and but i was not really looking at the five minute i was looking more at the one minute as you can see just a break your market structure sort of about that market structure and i took an entry my stops were above here or my stops were even tighter my stops were like this and um i was starting in around the two rr so this was basically my trade just um yeah that was basically my trade um one more that i want to say so yeah us 30 was like the only clear setup we had today because nq was just not looking really nice at all and EUS, es was also not really looking nice in that moment in time so let me go back for you guys so this was just look at es man it's not clean at all and this nq was also doing like almost the same thing just chilling doing whatever it wants you know what i mean uh and you melted but yeah so realistically this is the setup like you have the market structure shift um uh, we have the liquidity suit market structure shift this would have been your entry but because we had such bullish smt i just did not like it so that's why i preferred us 30 over it and us 30 also had its reasons to be bearish so that's why i like the setup more in us 30. so i took it on us 30. and basically that's that you know really nice w and uh yeah those were the two trades i took today um going into tomorrow i'm definitely going to be looking more at eu and um gold gold has also not the best wait let me see I don't remember what gold did yeah gold we took on multiple daily levels of liquidity and uh yeah no gold we took on multiple levels of daily liquidity and we pushed up so definitely just bullish on gold right now. I'm anticipating, yeah, I think gold might be really nice tomorrow. I think gold, we can, if we get a retracement in the overnight session down here, we get into a discount, tap into this break right here, and we can get a long setup, that'd be textbook. I'm gonna keep you guys updated if we take that trade, but that's gonna be a textbook setup in my opinion. Um, besides that, nothing much. Um, I don't really look at GU that much, so yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, take care.